All right, guys, so I'm going to take you through the pause here, and we're going to start from the ground up. Just like when you're buying a house, you want to make sure it has a sturdy foundation. And what we have here is a all-aluminum more ride frame. It is huck riveted. So what that means is there's absolutely zero welds on this whatsoever. It's going to be built like a bridge. It's going to have no cracks in the welds or anything like that because you have bolts instead. So we also have a air suspension. Now with this air suspension, you get fully independent wheels. And when you go up and down, you're going to get, a, get about 12 inches of movement. And when you raise it all the way up, you'll actually get 25 inches of ground clearance, which is pretty substantial. So we'll go to the walls now. The walls, the floor, and the ceiling, they're all made of the same material. It is a transcore composite. So what that means is it's, it's not thermally bonded together. It's actually heated together, so you don't have any chances of delamination over time. This is a full exterior body wrap, all right? So this, this, they told us it'll be about five to seven years before you even see any type of fading whatsoever. They give you a UV protection around it as well, so it's gonna be a great material, so you don't have to worry about any of that. This, this is uh, what sells this feature, it sells this camper right here. This is our deluxe outside kitchen. What you're looking at right now is our griddle from Greystone. And right here, this is pretty cool too. We'll get, a, get back behind this. This is our outside pantry. Gonna give you a lot of storage, so make sure you bring all your food from home because you have plenty of room for it. You got your Furion microwave, your Everchill refrigerator. You get about five cubic feet with that refrigerator so you can hold quite a few drinks and such in there. You have a little bit more storage underneath as well for all your cooking utensils. And finally, you got your hot and cold water. And then if you guys ever wanna spray things off, wash dishes outside of the sink, you can actually get a hose and easily put that on and use that for washing off uh, shoes or clothes, whatever it may be that gets dirty, all right? Got a power source here as well for a TV, a cable hookup. And as we look up, you do have a security camera and you'll find a security camera on all four sides. You'll have your Fusion Entertainment speakers. This will be actually zoned off from the inside. And then you have some light bars all the way around as well. Now what's really cool is we look up, you notice you have your awning, like most campers do, right? But this is a legless awning. So this is powered by our Garmin One system. Press of a button, this awning will extend or retract. And we'll talk about what more that Garmin system can do in a little bit. But right now we'll go to the front here. You notice we have a Truma cooler. This comes standard on all our pause units. If you open it up, you got plenty of storage space in there. So half of this could be a refrigerator, half could be a freezer, or it could all be a, refri a refrigerator, all be a freezer. So you have options with that too. We'll go to the front. We'll check out the front a little bit here. What we have here is a large A-frame storage. This is standard on all the pauses. This is a rhino lining. So this is what something you put in the back of your truck bed. It's a poly, polyurea coating. It helps with a bunch of abrasions, rusting, things like that. So this will last a long time and take a lot of use and abuse. When we look inside here, you have your two 30-pound LP tanks. Not your 20 pounds, we have 30 pounds in here. Your jerry cans. These are made for extra gas that you bring along. We also have one that can carry some water as well. These are about a gallon each. And then on top, you have some tie downs for you know, extra belongings that you guys bring. And we put some wood there just to show you what you can put up there. If we look up, you have some skylights on the front and there's another one on top as well. And you see that large light bar up there. You know, Overlanders, they love their light bars. So we put light bars on all four sides. Get about that light bar I believe is about 50 inches so pretty substantial. All right guys now we're on the back of the camper here this is where we have a lot of storage for you and I'll show you how to operate our swinging tire carriers. We'll actually grant you two full-size tires so that is super nice to have some spare tires. So what you'll do is you unhook it right here this will actually open up it'll click into place as you see there and what we also do is we'll give you a little area for some belongings here, you got a drop down table in case you want to put any tools, drinks, whatever it may be. And then what you see here, this is a recovery board. So basically what that is used for is when if you ever get stuck, like in the mud, like we got out here, just put those underneath your tires, gives you a little extra traction. Make sure you get out of uh, any pickle you guys are in. This is a handle here. So this will slide all the way down. What we got back here, 
you guys see this here. This is 63 cubic foot of storage. It also has a vent back there, so if you guys want to put any wet muck boots or your waders back there and don't have to worry about anything, uh, having any stench because you got that vent back there to make sure that all goes away. We also have some fishing rod poles back here, or fishing uh, rod holders back here as well for all you fishermen. Security camera on top, another light bar, and some tie downs on top as well. So all right guys, we're on the other side of the pause unit now, and this is the ladder to actually get on the roof. On the roof, you'll find 700 watt solar panels up there, and then we'll actually give you some more area for extra storage or extra solar on the side. We got a couple of solar ports up front, and this will give you an extra three to 600 watts of solar, so you can run quite a bit off that solar that we give you. All right guys, now you've seen a lot of the exterior, let's head on inside. So this is the inside here. You notice already that we have olive green colors for cabinets, white colored cabinets. But you notice here, these are actually soft clothes and they're aluminum, they're a powder coated aluminum. We don't use any wood on this whatsoever. When you're overlanding, you know, you're gonna go be going over bumps, rocks, falling trees. You don't want any wood inside, you know, moving around, breaking, creaking, whatever it may be. So we don't use any wood whatsoever. Solid surface countertops will give you a large sink and a large mirror. And if we, we'll go to the back here real quick. Full size bathroom, fiberglass shower, got a full body shower heads all throughout. Skylight above that I'll offer you a shade system as well in case you want to close that off. So what we got back here is our fishing rod holders and also some room for more storage. All right, now that we're back in the front, this is our full-size queen bed that we offer you. And actually, you can fold this up. Let's say uh, you're done sleeping for the day, you can fold up this mattress. It is a rollover sofa. That'll roll all the way over into a sofa. So that way you guys have more room for entertaining guests or hanging out during the day. T-shirt closets on each side. Again, aluminum cabinets, solid surface countertops. You have outlets on each side. And here are those skylights I was talking about, guys. So when you're laying in bed, can you imagine just looking up through those skylights at the stars at night? It'd be pretty sweet. Each window is dual paned. It has a integrated shade system and screen system as well. So if you want to have those windows open, you get, can have a screen over that. That way you don't get any bugs or anything inside. We give you some uh, coat hangers above as well, above the door or whatever you want to use to hang there. And as we look up, we have another skylight. And then if we look at the walls, you notice here, these are uh, 3D printed walls. So when we talked about those composite walls earlier, it is all one piece. So with that, you're got, not gonna have any seams, no seam tape to deal with. And again, these are all 3D printed, just like the bathroom walls as well. All right guys, so this is the garment system I was talking about earlier. This is the brains of the whole operation. So what you do, this is uh, offered in every floor plan, every pause, so you'll get this standard. And this is your home screen here, all right? So it shows you the outside temperature, the inside temperature of the camper. It shows you all the water levels that you guys have. It controls all the lights, so you just click it, turn up the lights off and on, um, stabilizers all throughout, front power jack, all the battery, the solar power that you guys have. And then this right here, I believe, is the coolest feature of them all, is our, is our presets button here. This controls all your suspension. So what that does is you can press that first preset. And what it'll do is when you get to the campsite or wherever you may be, it'll go to the setting that you prefer when you're outside or when you're set up. So this whole thing will set up by itself and actually auto balance as you move about the inside as well. And the last thing I'd like to show you guys is pretty cool right here. This is my favorite part of this whole thing. This is our lockable storage, all right? So it's right behind the entertainment center. This could be used as a pantry. This could be used for a lot of different things. All right, guys, so this is the 20.3. The last one we looked through is the 20.2. A couple of key features to point out is we give you an exterior bar outside, all right? So when you guys want to be eating outside in the elements, we provide that to you right here. Instead of the large outside kitchen like on the last one, in the back, we actually put it in the front. 
We still give you a substantial size outside kitchen. We give you a griddle. We give you the Truma cooler. Hot and cold water functioning as well. And a small table here. We'll give you on the side. And then also a pantry for whatever you guys want to bring along. So we're inside of the 20.3. And one of the coolest features on this is this right here. So this is the bar top, all right? So it's multifunctional. So when you're ready to go to bed, go to sleep, this actually turns into a area for sleeping as well. So I'll put this down here. You see here we have a nice bunk mat for people to sleep and stay. And you also have your front queen bed as well. So you have, you know, easily places for three people to sleep very comfortably. So. We look in here, unlike the last one, we have a large inside kitchen, but again, everything is still all aluminum as far as the cabinets go. Got your three burner cooktop. You got a large Furion microwave, large Furion oven, and we have a 16 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator as well. So back here in the bathroom, again, we have a large fiberglass shower. The walls are 3D printed to give you that nice texture that you feel at home, make you feel like you're at home. A large lav, mirror, and obviously we have some uh, storage space as well above, or I'm sorry, on the side and below. So when's, uh, when will the pause be available for customers? Yeah, so we're looking to start the last part of October, early November to start getting things rolling, moving um, down the line. So I would say, you know, hopefully by the end of the year we'll have some product available for customers. Cool. Dylan, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. I'm told the pause started with one question. How can we get the outdoor kitchen lower so it's easier to cook on the cooktop? And everything fell into place beyond that. Now, with not a lick of wood on it, pause is not going to be cheap. It's going to be definitely over $100,000. But if you match it with a good off-road truck, I think you can compare it to a similarly well-equipped Class B camper van. And this way you have a truck still to be your daily driver. And you will need a truck. Pause is going to come in at over 7,000 pounds dry, putting it well into the half ton truck category and probably beyond. I personally think it'll look pretty nice behind our F350 trimmer. Right now, there are four floor plans along with the two you saw in the video. There's a bunkhouse with four sleeping positions and a rear bed model with a front dinette. They all have 76 gallons of fresh water capacity and 30 each of gray and black. It comes with up to a thousand watts of solar and many more features. This thing is so new that it's not on their website yet or anything like that. They're only showing it to dealers really for the last few days, but it should be available for order by the end of the year. I'd love to know your thoughts, even if this isn't the right kind of trailer for you. Are you excited about some of these features? Personally, I hope those composite walls end up on a heck of a lot of new RVs. They let me hit one of the wall panels with a sledgehammer and it didn't make a dent. We'll see you next time.